Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a button in Fireworks. Um, a button is a way to create a little bit more interactivity for your web page. This is interactive HTML web content that you're writing in Fireworks. There aren't a whole lot of uses for um, interactive features when you're just doing image editing, but if you're going to later export this into Dreamweaver, this is something you may really want. Um, some new vocabulary you'll learn. Up is the normal state of a button. This is what it would look like if you were nowhere near the button or you hadn't clicked on it. Over is what it'll look like when you actually roll your mouse over the image and down is what it'll look like after you've clicked it. Um, I would say probably the most common feature of using or, or the common use for doing this would be to create buttons for menu bars and fireworks. So I'm going to start fireworks and I'm just going to create a new fireworks file. And right away I'm going to leave my main canvas here and I'm going to go into um, creating a new button. The way I'm going to do that is edit, insert, new button. And then this dialog box comes up. Remember up is our normal state. What I'm going to do is just draw a very simple rectangle. make it a little bigger so everybody can see it. Um, and I'm going to color this uh, black. I'm now going to add some text to it. I'm going to draw this with my text box. And I'm going to make this text white. It's going to say click here. I'm going to center it. Move that down a little bit. Okay, so there's my basic up button. Now I want to create my rollover image. When I clicked over, you'll see that there's nothing there. If I hit copy up graphic, what it will do is it will copy the image from my up button. From here I can make more changes. I'm going to change this button to be um, a very dark blue color. Okay, and now I'm going to create my down image. This is what the button will change to after it's been clicked. Again, I'm going to copy my over graphic. And this time I'm going to change my button to red after it's been clicked. I go ahead and click done and then this is what my button looks like automatically in my canvas. I can change this and move it around anywhere I'd like. If you were creating a menu you'd probably want them lined up either along the top or along the sides. Because this is active content, you actually have to preview it to see what it would look like. So this is our up state. This is our over. You should be able to see when I roll my mouse button over it, it changes to blue. And if I click on it, it changes to red. Okay, that's all for creating a button. Thank you.